Hello everyone and welcome to Zilonka. This is part of the premium edition of FS22. And we're going to do it a little bit differently to how other YouTubers are doing it. We're not starting with the base farm. We're going to start on medium difficulty. Yes, I am Robert Scythe. Aha, and it plonks us down here where the normal starting farm would be. What I would like to do, though, is take a look at what other farms are available to buy. So, if we fly up into the air, and we can have a bit of a look around. This will be the f this is the first time I've ever loaded the map, so it will be a little bit stuttery. But if we head down this way first, if we see, open up the big mini map, we'll head down this way first and see what we've got. So, that looks to be a stone crusher. Not a farm. If we head straight up here now. There we have the railway station. And the sawmill. We then head in this way. What have we got here? Nice little windmill. Nice little windmill there. I don't know if that shed opens or anything. The house looks good. Uh, aha, here's a little farm area. That's interesting. That is that is the same house from the original starting farm. I know that based on other YouTubers' videos. That doesn't look to be like too bad of a farm itself. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, we're into more of a town area type thing here. Uh, yes, here's the town. Oh, that's an interesting spire. I think we'll find collectibles around there, won't we? In fact, I can see one down there already. Yes, we will be collecting collectibles. We'll be playing, playing along as the game is meant to be played. I have got a couple of mods on here, mostly just the FS22, uh, the Giants released mods, but I have got a couple of, of tractors and things that I've also added in. Right, what else have we got out this way? Well, there's a football pitch there. That's production. Some more fields. Ah. So, in terms of farm choices, we have two choices. One is the original starting farm, but with... Uh, what's that? That's another production there. Oh, hello. There's another farm over here. Maybe we have more than three choices. That looks like a decent farm. Good coverage of fields. Just up the road from the dealership, I think. Yep. Uh, no, this is not the dealership. Ah, dealership is up this way. There are more productions over there. So if we head back up to here. So this is the land that you would start with on easy mode. Although there'd be a lot more buildings and things on that. There's the farm over there that we saw earlier. Or that one. Uh, was it that one? Or was it further over that way? You know. Lost track. Possibly that one over there in the distance. And that's the options. As we start right next to the dealership with the land that everybody else starts with. I'm going to say no. We'll start over here on this farm. Which is definitely, yeah. I like I like the shape of this farm. I like the look of it. Yeah, I think we're going to go for this one. So. How much money have we got in the bank? One million five hundred thousand. That should be fairly good. So this year comes with the field behind it, and is two hundred and fourteen thousand. Let's buy that. Um, it would be lovely to get the one next to it. It comes with a bit of grassland as well. That's fifty-five thousand, so not unreasonable. I reckon we could even afford 
this one as well for now. That's good. Let's see what we've got. So we've got some sugar beet, some soya beans, and some canola. Oh, except the canola's already been harvested, so we can't can't do that. Uh, right. Well, let's now take it off flight mode. Dunk. Right on the ground. Well, here's our house. Uh, can we get in? Is there a gate? Are we forever locked out of our own house. Well, we can put the sleep trigger here, can't we? Let's see. Uh, farmhouses? Ah. Oh. Hmm. I guess not. Bear with me. Okay, here we go. Let's pop our sleep trigger there. I'm going to turn the, uh, the triggers on to start with. Ah. That must be sleep. And that must be... That's interesting. Oh, have I already got a trigger there? No, I don't want to sell the farmhouse. Nope. There. Oh, I have already got a sleep trigger there. Well. Marvellous. I have got chickens. I have got storage. I want to close the door. I want to switch the lights on. There. Nice little workshop to work in. We've got a silo. Now, what about this one? Does this open up any bigger? It does. So this could be for small machinery. Terrific. It's got lights as well. Superb. Right, speaking of machinery, we should probably get some. So, uh, we've got soybeans. And we've got sugar beet. I'm going to be renting the harvester to do the sugar beet. Um, what we need to do first of all is cultivate this field. So, we're going to need a tractor. Let's see what we've got in the sale. Oh, that's a Zeta. 115 to 155 horsepower. <coughs> we've got a cultivator there too. Hmm. Might be better to get the cultivator and a bigger tractor, to be honest. Hmm, yeah. Let's buy that. Decent. Now that will need 180 horsepower. So let's see what we've got that's 180 horsepower. Uh, there's a Zeta Turbo, that's 155. Hmm. Have a quick look. Stairs, 135. There is no harm in getting a bigger tractor to start with. Let's take a look in medium tractors. There was a Fiat there. That could go up to 180. That's part of the premium expansion as well. Oh, good. Oh, well. What about that Zeta? 190, oh, 150 horsepower. So, right. Let's pick this one, but go up to 180 horsepower. I'm going to go with wide tyres. Um, I don't think we'll have a front loader on this. No, we won't have a front loader on this. We'll get a smaller tractor with a front loader or something similar. 
Right. Here we are. Oh, that's a nice sounding tractor. Really nice sounding. But I am going to turn off auto engine start. Uh, where would I find that? Probably in here. Uh, automatic engine start off. The normal stop and go braking on. Trailer fill limit off. Fuel usage normal. No, we need to turn all these off. Uh, animals can be removed when health drops. Yep, yeah, let's play realistically. Uh, let's have a look. We've got field stone on, weeds on, ploughing required on, crop destruction on. Yep, yeah, all of those things I want. One day per month. Yep, that's fine. Everything else is good. Okay. Let's hook up to this. Now, where did I put my farm? Hmm. I think we'll have to go around that way. Let's go on the correct side of the road. Do we think we can get down there this way? I think we probably can. Let's give it a go. And I, I am going to be getting into the new uh, <coughs> root crops. That is something I definitely want to do. But we could put some into this field here that we're working with now. But what are the dates on planting? So at the minute we're looking maybe at only getting wheat, barley or canola in to that field. Um, however, quite a large planting window over the other side. And it may be the case that we'll keep yeah the soya bean field free, I think. Oh, hello. Oh, he's turning around, is he? Where am I going? I want to go down here, I think, don't I? Possibly. Then maybe, yeah, over that way. That looks like my farm over there. Good. I'm glad we got that sorted. Uh, I think I'll have to turn right on this road. And then head along this way. Hmm. Beautiful. Still a little bit stuttery. Waiting for the cash to build up again. Since the update. But all is good. And then we need to turn down here. Put the indicator on. And we are back at our farm. There is a small patch of grass here, but nothing really, really major. Um, it would be good to get wheat or barley in any way for chickens, because I definitely do want to sort the chicken, get the chicken sorted. Let's unfold this. And I think we'll put it on a worker. That should be able to pull that, no problem. Oh, how dusty. Beautiful. So, that will get us started. So, we will also need a cedar. That's going to be quite important. Uh, let's see what we've got in the options of cedars. Oh, this looks interesting. Ah. So, this is a new type of cedar, the bednar. It also could be used with a subsoiler. I think overall that would be just over £100,000, but it looks like it can do both seed and fertiliser, which is amazing. Uh, right, what are the power requirements? 225 horsepower. Okay. 
So we may be looking at getting an even bigger tractor. Possibly. Something maybe a bit newer, even. Uh, ooh, it's a nice Deutschwehr. Hmm. I don't want to go for a large tractor yet. We've already got a tiny farm. Well, the, AT the ATS might be an option. Starts with 205 horsepower. We need 225 for that cedar. Could head up. Oh, that adds quite a bit of money on, but we've got quite a bit of money as well, so... Maybe 245 power. Ooh. Let's get the anniversary edition. Done. And as for Cedar. Yep, we do want this one. Should I go for additional weight? Why would I want an additional weight? I don't know, but we won't go for the additional weight. And then... We need this bit. I assume that the subsoiler... Hmm. Not sure. So this doesn't say... Yeah, maybe the subsoiler part is the one that has the... Uh, fertilizer input, and this is just seed. Well, we will have to see. Uh, while we're here, we will get a couple of bags of seed. Say so a couple, four will do nicely. And it's probably worth getting a couple of bags of fertilizer as well, even though we probably can't put it in at this stage. Okay, he's happy. I'm happy. Yeah, it looks like this can be used. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe it can be used in conjunction with the subsoiler and the cedar part. But, hmm, don't know. Maybe the subsoiler bit goes in front of the cedar bit. Hmm, let's get it all connected up. Need to start being a little bit more frugal with our money. Okay. Let's fill up these containers. Maybe it doesn't take fertilizer as well. Maybe it only takes fertilizer when it's got the subsoil on the back. But that's okay. We have got. I wonder if there's a track down that way I can use to cut across. Maybe. Um, but yeah, we've we could get a. Uh yeah, here we go. We can get a, um, a fertilizer spreader, no problem. Shouldn't be any problem at all. We'll need this next month when we're putting in some more seed.
Might need a front weight for this tractor. Right. I'm going to let that carry on and we're going to discuss what's next. Right, so I would like a bigger shed to put the bigger equipment into. Because the ones we've got at the minute are pretty small. Oh, what's this over here? Ah, that's where that is. It's a shame that you can't actually get in there. The gates won't actually open. But apart from that, it's fine. Is there another gate that'll open? No, there is not. Never mind. Right, yes, so like I said, I would like to put a bigger shed in. And I'm thinking maybe we expand over this way a bit, but then for that, we'd have to buy this field as well. How much is this field? Where are we? Here we are. Wow, uh, 201,000. That is, well... It's not a lot for what it is. It's actually a huge area. Crikey. And an extra field. I did not expect that. What's in that field? Carrots. Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe we should sell this shed over here and get something a little bit bigger to start with. £4,000. Yep. Okay, I think that's probably the best thing to do. So premium expansion sheds. Need something that we can fit things in, but I do want something that's in keeping with Zalonka. Hmm. That's a nice shed. Yes, that's a nice big shed. But. Maybe it's a bit too big. It would sit over here quite nicely. Well, this isn't, this isn't a bad one. And that can go on longitudinally. Hmm. No, too big. Once again, it won't fit in there. Hmm. I would love to have this one. At the moment, the ground isn't sort of the right shape for it. At all. Hmm. Maybe the bigger shed should go over here. And we should start sort of... Possibly just... Yeah, that's what we'll do. There we go. Bigger shed is now over here. Um... Let's paint on some asphalt. Uh, do we want it asphalt? Well, we'll have an asphalt yard. I think. And then... Some dirt tracks. Up to here. There we go. I'd say that was pretty good. Uh, any more dirt in here? No? Right. Good. Well. That's taken a bit of money. Right. 
This work is now finished. However, I have noticed that down the bottom of the field, he has left a few bits, so we'll go and get those done. I'll do those for him. And then we can start to put some of the equipment in the shed. Never think about what else we want. Yes, here we go. Very dusty. It's possible to even build it further out this way, so that um, we can build some uh, animal enclosures and things out here. I wonder if there's any new like cow pastures or anything with the Platinum Edition, Premium Edition, sorry. No, there isn't. Ooh, there's a new pig barn. Well, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, nice new pig barn. Yeah, there is the chicken shed, and there's the bigger chicken shed. They both only hold 20 chickens. But nope. Nothing else. Right there. So. That is that used now. Uh, let's open this up. We shall get the um, cultivator put away. Ah, could do with a bit of ground smoothing here, I think. Get this put away and then we'll give it a go. Here we are. And the cedar can go in the other side. In fact, we could even leave the tractor connected to it. Look at that. Superb. Right, as for the other one, let's bring that over and put it away as well. We will be putting wheat into this field, but not until... when is it? Oh, hang on. Oh no, no, that's harvest, sorry. Next month. Next month we can put wheat in. Which is great news. Okay. Okay. Off it goes. Looking like a pretty good shed worth of uh, kit at the minute. Okay, so, thinking about things then, what else do we need? Uh, what's the vegetable technology? Okay, there are some two-row harvesters. Don't know what the difference there is between those two. Working with a lot shorter on the more expensive one. I'm not sure, unless, it, unless it's got a hopper. Nope, does not appear to have a hopper. Oh. Uh, it really doesn't appear to have a hopper. Weird. This one has definitely not got a hopper. Hmm, wonder. Wonder. Another one there. Maybe that does have a hopper. But it doesn't have a storage value on here. How strange. Uh, right, so this is used to create the ridges to plant things. And that's used to plant the vegetables. Okay. 
<coughs> as for other things, we'll need a trailer. I did add in... That's a new one for the premium expansion. I did add in... Some of these lizard trailers. Eighteen point seven. Not a bad size. Uh, are there any more premium expansion trailers? I can't see any. Yeah, I think that one should be a good one. Let's maybe change the color though. That looks pretty good. Hmm. That one should do nicely. Yes, I would like an LED beacon. And tail door lights. Uh, otherwise, that will do nicely. Okay. Uh, what was I saying about smoothing the ground in this area? That's a good idea. Let's do that. Uh, soften. That's what I want. Turn up the intensity and the size a little bit. And we are softening. There we go. That looks much better. Good. Well, pretty pleased with how our farm's turning out so far. A little bit different to uh, other YouTubers. But it's working well, I think. Really, really good. Right then. Let's skip forward to September. We will get the wheat in the ground. And then we will finish there. But that's one thing I definitely want to do is get the wheat in the ground. Nice blue sky at night there. Similar to uh, Silver Run Forest. Okay. Let's get going at Mr. Massey Ferguson. Unfold. I don't know how fast the working speed I've got with this. Actually, nine miles an hour. It's not too bad. Quite a nice working width as well. Shouldn't take long to get this bit done at all. It looks like the weeds have been sprayed off of the soybeans, so that's good. They obviously don't need fertilizer. I am running with the... Uh, what do you call it? The, <laughs> the expansion pack that does, does that side of things. Hmm. Uh, precision farming, that's it. <laughs> Gosh, would get me head if it wasn't screwed on. Right. We'll do one lap of the headland to start with. And we'll finish off things there, I think. I have got crop destruction on, so we're not going to be driving into that crop over there. It's okay, because we are wide enough to cover that miss when we go up this way.
I know I have started off with some rather big equipment for some small fields, but we are going to look to expand, and if we can expand quickly, we want we don't want to have to keep up with expanding the kit at the same time, so this is where we're at. I am thinking, however, that maybe we will get a relatively cheap harvester to start with. Obviously, we'll have to rent the harvester that we're going to do the sugar beet with. But uh, in terms of the conventional harvester, we'll get a fairly cheap one, I think, to start with. And when we move on to vegetables, which we will do very soon, in fact, at the start of next year, both of these fields up here that are currently cereal crops will become. root crops and then the larger field which has currently got the sugar beet in will become the cereal crop anyway I'm going to get this done and then we'll catch up afterwards And there we go, we have wheat in the ground, which is absolutely fantastic. We also have fertilizer up at the uh, up at the store, but I'm not going to bother fertilizing until we have got our first stage of germination. Um, there are also brand new ways to tackle weeds in uh, the premium edition and we're going to look into getting a weeder instead of a sprayer so let's have a quick look at weeders because I know that they've added some in uh, where are we weeders here we are look at that so we have got two new weeders Oh, we've got ones in the horse aggravation pack as, as well, which is fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, so they're for small weeds, and then obviously the hoes are for larger weeds. Uh, what's the cheapest hoe we've got? I think it's that one there. Yep, that's the one. Well, I'm hoping to get the uh, the weeds pulled out before a hoe is needed. I also want to get a tractor with a front loader. Now, I would love to use something out of the premium expansion. That's Probably not going to have a front loader attached No, it's not. Uh, right. Zeta pack, Zeta pack, Zeta pack. I wonder. Uh, here we are. Premium expansion. Ooh. We've got this sort of uh, forklift type job that fits on a three point linkage. That's interesting. Right, what about tractors? Zeta. That's part of the premium expansion. 
150 horsepower, that's not too bad at all. Oh, crikey, some self-propelled sprayers and things as well. Amazing. Well, that is awesome. Uh, so... It does not have a front loader possibility. So we may not have to, we may not be able to use a tractor out the premium edition pack. Let's have a quick look at what other, other options we've got. Uh, I don't want another Massey Ferguson. We want to diversify a bit. Uh, what's this Izeki? No front loader, so that doesn't matter. Um, you get one of the Kubota. You can a Kubota front loader attacher. Hmm, hundred and four horsepower. That's actually not too bad. Need a rear weight for it. Uh, combinations, there we are, that's what we want, and we want a pallet fork, is that right, is that what we want? Uh, so no roll, that's interesting, not one I'd heard of, um, Pallet fork. I think that's what we want, isn't it? Sure. Why not? None of that was in the sale, was it? No, good. <laughs> right. Here we are. We might as well bring back the Zeta, the front loader and the weeder although I did want a rear weight didn't I as well let's get a rear weight and not bring back the weeder straight away uh, let me see how much we want I think we need at least a ton, don't we? Ton and a half? Ooh. And even go for it in orange. That's a bit much. That'll do. Beautiful. Uh, right, let's turn around and pick up that weight. Yes, I think this farm is going to grow really nicely, actually. Everything is on medium difficulty. Might as well bring the fertiliser back as well, actually. So it's not exactly going to be straightforward and easy, but we're starting off with some pretty decent kit. There we go. We went for the ton and a half weight. Uh, let's have a look at the It's not too unstable, to be honest. It's pretty good. Okay, so. I think that's pretty good for the first episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, about our chosen farm. Our chosen equipment and any plans I've talked about for <laughs> going forwards. Look at that imposing shed it is, isn't it? I have to get the fertilizer undercover in there. Oh look, there's a, a biogas facility right on our doorstep. We won't be able to make use of that. Wonder what sort of stuff they take. Well, 
Right, let's see if we can just sort of sneak in here. We can do, good. And pop these down over here. And switch that off there. So, like I said, what does the biogas facility take? Uh, oh yes, we can only find out by uh, going in construction, can't we? Uh, there's a new bakery. Premium exp expansion. A spinnery. Uh, a dairy. A platinum. Platinum, platinum, premium. Preserved food factory. So that's one thing we are going to want to get. Uh, potato processing plant. Yes, I definitely want to do potatoes and get them processed as well. Into crisps. Uh, premium, premium, premium. Come on. No. Maybe not. So, the... Oh, hello. The bio factory then. Is that something that... Hmm. Wonder if this will tell me. Oh, it's not a bio factory. Oh, it says bio factory. It's a sawmill. You can sell wood there. Biogas. Biogas. So I assume that must be wood chips. So maybe we could do poplar in one of these fields. Although that's a whole other... Whole other mess we'll think about another time. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.